Tao overflows, self-remembering and mind. Try this remembering and you will feel a change of quality. Try to remember that you are. Suddenly a new lightness comes to you. The heaviness disappears and you become weightless. You are thrown off the false center to the real one again, but it is difficult and arduous because we are so much grounded in the false. It will take time, but no transformation is possible without self-remembering becoming effortless for you. You simply start remembering yourself, otherwise no transformation is possible. Learn to live each moment totally because this moment is leaving you. So learn to live each moment totally. When a child is born, he has to be forced into a certain discipline. He cannot be allowed freedom. If he is allowed total freedom, he will remain with the center. He will be spontaneous, living with himself and living himself. <clears throat> he will be original as he is. He will be authentic and then there will be no need to practice any self-remembering. There will be no need to practice any meditation because he will never go off the center. Meditation becomes necessary because you are off-center. There will be no need to practice any meditation because he will never go off the center. He will remain with himself. Being with himself means centered, rooted and grounded in one's own being. But this has not yet been possible. Meditation is therefore medicinal. The society creates the disease and then the disease has to be treated through meditation therapy. Religion is medicinal. If really a human society based in freedom can be evolved, there would be no need of religion because we are sick and medicine is needed. And because we are of center, methods of centering are needed. If one day it becomes possible on earth to create a healthy society, healthy in the inner sense, there will be no religion. But it seems difficult to create such a society. The child has to be disciplined what are you doing when you are disciplining a child? You are forcing something which is not natural to him. You are asking and demanding something which will never do spontaneously. Which he will never do spontaneously. You will punish him and you will appreciate you will bribe him and you will do everything to make him social, to take him away from his natural beingness. You will create a new center in his mind which was never there. And this center will grow and the natural center will go into oblivion, into unconscious. Thus your natural center has moved into the unconscious into the dark and your unnatural center has become your conscious. There is really no division between unconscious and conscious. Thus a division is created. But really you are one consciousness. This division comes because your own center has been forced into some dark corner. Even you are not in contact with it. You are not allowed to be in contact with it. 
you yourself has become unconscious that you have a center you live what the society the culture the family has taught you to live you live a false life for this false life and a false for this false life a false center is needed that center is your ego your conscious mind your egocentric identities that is why no matter what you do you will never be blissful remember bliss can only happen through the real center only the real center can explode and you come to the climax the optimum possibility of bliss the false center is a shadow game you can play with it you can hope with it but ultimately nothing but frustration comes out with a false anxiety with a false anxiety that is bound to be so in a way everything is forcing you not to be yourself and this cannot be changed just by saying that this is wrong because society has its own needs a child when born is just like an animal it is a spontaneous centered grounded and so independent he cannot become part of an organization he is disturbing he has to be forced cultivated and changed in this cultivation he has to be pushed off center that everybody is we live on the periphery and we live only to the extent that the society allows us to live our freedom is false because the rules of the game of the social game are so deeply fixed that you may feel that you are changing this and that but you are not choosing the choice comes from the cultivated mind and this goes on in a mechanical way i am remembered i am reminded of a person who married eight women in his life he married one woman then divorced her married another very cautiously very carefully in order not to fall into the old trap again in every way he calculated and he was thinking that this new woman was going to be totally different than the first one but within a few days with the honeymoon not yet even over the new woman started to prove herself to be just the same as the old one the first one within 6 months the marriage shattered again he married a third woman and now he was still more cautious but again the same thing happened he married eight women and every time the women turned out to be the same as the old one what was happening this is not only with women but men as well women and men are classification but they are all persons living in the society guided and trained by society to live a particular way and he was choosing very cautiously now very cautiously what was happening such is the situation of each one of us the chooser was unconscious whether you are a man or a woman you are unconscious you could not change the chooser and the chooser was always the same so the choice will also remain the same 
देर हैज टू बी अ चेंज विद इन यू ओनली देन वेन यू चूज समथिंग दैट विल बी अ टोटली डिफरेंट वन सो वेन द चॉइस दिस इज वाई इट इज सेड the disciple does not choose the master you have to attain to the disciplehood the moment disciple is born in you the master appears and it is the master that chooses the disciple like it is a conscious person chooses the one then it will be a totally a different thing your life will be transformed he could not change the chooser and the chooser was always the same so choice is naturally going to be the same and the chooser works unconsciously you go on doing this and that you go on changing outward things but nothing changes everything remains the same you remain off center whatsoever you do howsoever it is apparently different it ultimately proves to be the same the results are always the same the outcome is always the same this is your experience in life whenever you feel you are choosing you are not free then too you are not free and you are not choosing the choice is also mechanical the scientists say biologists biologists particularly that the mind becomes imprinted and that happens very early the first two or three years are the years of imprinting and things become fixed in the mind then you go on doing the same thing you go on repeating everything in a mechanical way you are moving in a vicious circle the child is forced to be off center he has to be disciplined he has to learn obedience that is why we give so much importance to obedience and obedience destroys everyone because obedience means now you are off center this other center is has come in and you are just following it education is necessary in order to survive but we make this necessity to survive an excuse for submitting we force everyone to be obedient what does it mean obedient to whom always to someone else the father the mother someone else is there and you have to be obedient to this person why so much importance is given to obedience because your father has to be forced was forced to be obedient when he was a child your mother was forced to be obedient when she was a child they were all force of centers now they are doing the same thing they are do- doing the same to their children and the children will do the same thing to their children and this is how the society goes on freedom is destroyed and with freedom you lose your center not that your center is destroyed it cannot be destroyed while you are alive it would be good if it was destroyed then you would be more at ease with yourself if you were totally false and there was no real center hidden behind you would be at ease there is there would be no conflict no anxiety no struggle but this does not happen this conflict has come into existence because the real has been there and pushed into the background enough for now